What's up guys? It's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Oscar Rivas versus Ryan Rosicki and this is going to be a 12 rounder for the vacant WBC Bridgerweight World Championship and this fight is going to be Friday October 22nd from the Olympia Theater in Montreal Canada and this fight is going to be broadcasted on Fight TV and to get into both fighters resumes Oscar Rivas fighting out of Colombia holds a record of 27 wins one defeat with 19 wins coming by way of knockout he's currently not ranked by BoxRec because BoxRec is not of Bridgerweight rankings but out of five stars BoxRec has him ranked a four and a half. And now to list his one and only defeat, it came by unanimous decision to Dillian White for the interim WBC heavyweight world title. And some of his best victories have come over highly ranked Bridgeway contenders, where he has a unanimous decision victory over Herb Hubo, sorry if I pronounced his name wrong, and he also has a knockout victory over Bryant Jennings. And now to get into his opponent's resume, Ryan Rosicki fighting out of Canada, Holds a record of 13 wins, no defeats with all 13 wins coming by way of knockout. He too was not ranked by BoxRec because BoxRec does not have Bridgeway rankings, but um, out of 5 stars, BoxRec has him ranked a 2. And with Rosicki, he doesn't really have a lot of good wins. Uh, he does have some wins over undefeated fighters who are like 5-0 and 8-0, and but those fighters um, bo also have um, no good victories at all, so I would say probably Rosicki's best victory, although it is one of the worst records on his resume. He does have a knockout win over um, Silveira uh, Lewis, and um, Lewis is a fighter who's fought Oscar Rivas twice. I mean, he's fought some other decent fighters. He also has a win over Dylan Carmen, and uh, Rosicki was able to stop him. So, I mean, I would say that's his best victory, but that's it for um, any of the decent wins on his resume, and he doesn't really have any decent wins to name besides that. And in my opinion, this fight is just going to be one-sided in favor of Oscar Rivas. I mean, it's just a no-brainer. Oscar Rivas, the heavier, physically stronger, faster, more experienced man, Rosicki, I mean, came into this fight after Brian Jennings did um, have to pull out. And, I mean, I was actually pretty excited to see Oscar Rivas versus Brian Jennings, too. And um, this is actually the first ever Bridgeway title fight happening, or Bridgeway world title fight, I should say, because they have fought for international silver titles, whatever. But, um, yeah, Oscar Rivas was supposed to fight Brian Jennings, as I mentioned before. Um, their first fight ended in a knockout win, as I mentioned before, for Rivas. But it was a really competitive fight that... Most people had Jennings ahead in, and um, yeah, now we are going to see a total mismatch in Rivas' fight for the belt, and I mean, even Rivas versus Jennings 2 is not worthy for any type of world title, but this fight, I mean, this is legitimately like if Rivas is coming off a loss, and he's fighting a nobody just to get um, a, a win, uh, and just to get back into the winner's circle and gain some confidence, but now, I mean, he's fighting for a belt against this guy. Rosicki weighed in at 203 pounds. Rivas did have to cut some weight since moving down to Bridgeway. Obviously, most of us know him being that sort of short, stocky, very muscular physique fighter. Um, we saw that against Dillian White. He likes to throw short hooks, uh, very similar body types like Mike Tyson. But, um, yeah, he slimmed down a bit, but he's still in excellent shape for this fight. And I think he's just going to just dominate Rosicki. Uh, he's six foot tall. Rivas, I'm not really too sure how tall Rosicki is, but I'm pretty sure he's around like six foot, at most six foot two, somewhere around there. But his body type is sort of leaner, and he's really a cruiser weight. Rivas is a real built heavyweight. He's just physically far stronger way more experienced. I mean, he's going to dominate Rosicki. And how I see it going down, um, the first half of the fight is the where I see this fight ending. I think Oscar Rivas is going to get a stoppage victory, and it's going to be dominant. I've seen how Ryan Rosicki fights, and it's since he's been fighting nobodies and he has no good wins, really, I mean, he just likes to just come forward and throw punches. But from what I've seen... Um, if he does that against Rivas, he's going to get caught, countered, and knocked out. And Rivas, I mean, we've seen him drop Dylan White before. We've seen him um, stop Brian Jennings. I mean, he's just a decent fighter. And he's top 15 at heavyweight, but he's really the number one bridge weight. And that's the funny thing about this weight class, this new weight class, is because there's so many blown up cruiser weights, so many heavyweights that are old and dropping down. And, um... Yeah, I think Rivas is just going to dominate in this weight class because there isn't really that type of fighter to really challenge him. 
I mean, you have guys like maybe Kevin Lorena who might give um, Bridgerweight a try. Uh, I believe he will most likely fight for a form of like the silver title in WBC. Obviously, the, the WBC silver Bridgerweight title. Um, maybe guys like... Obviously, we saw Arthur Spilka try his hand at Bridgerweight. He got knocked out. Lukas Rosansky had to drop down and wait, and uh, he got that knockout win over Spilka. I mean, there's a lot of decent fighters, but at max, maybe top 15 at heavyweight, and that's Rivas, the only man at top 15. Brian Jennings, a top 20-level fighter, top 25. I mean, that's really their limit. I mean, they do have some good top 15, formerly top 10 cruiser rates in, like, Marco Hook, but Hook is definitely past his prime. I mean, it's just overall just a mix mash of washed-up veterans and or decent contenders that just want a shot in an easy belt. So, I mean, more on this fight specifically, uh, I think Oscar Rivas is just going to come forward and just meet Rosicky at the center of the ring. And once Rosicky really feels Rivas's power, he's going to be the one backing up, and Rivas is just going to go ham to the body, to the head, uppercuts, hooks. I mean, those are the real power shots that Rivas has. And I could definitely see him dropping down Rosicky multiple times, or just making him quit in his corner, or just he'll get stopped standing. I mean, whether it's a, a standing stoppage, a corner stoppage, or just a plain knockout, uh, Rivas is just going to get this title. Uh, it's going to be an easy title victory, and hopefully he takes on a better opponent next. And, I mean, I'm not even going to consider an upset here. I know many people say it's boxing, anything could happen, but this fight is a total mismatch and should not be for a world title. I mean, we've seen before where... Um, bouts between a um, a top contender and I mean this belt is vacant though that's what I have to say but I don't think this should be for a title I mean we saw Danny Garcia when he tried defending his belt against Rod Salka and the commission didn't allow it because obviously Salka was not really eligible for a, a title bout but here I don't know how the WBC allowed um, Ryan Rosicki to fight for a belt. His resume is even worse than Rod Salka's going into the Danny Garcia fight. This guy, Rod or Ryan Rosicki, has fought nobody. I mean, nobody. I mean, his resume is just absolutely awful, and he's ranked probably like around the top 100 in cruiser rate, which is a dead weight class with no skill outside like the top 15 or top 20, maybe top 20 at best. I mean. Really, that's even pushing the limit. This should not be a title fight, but um, it's obviously going to be for that belt, uh, the Bridgerweight title. And um, Oscar Rivas is most likely 100% going to be the new WBC Bridgerweight champion. And how I see it ending, uh, my, my final prediction is that Oscar Rivas will get a knockout victory from rounds 1 to round 6. So just in the first half of the fight, Oscar Rivas should be able to easily dominate, come forward, and just destroy Ryan Rosicki getting this title win. So overall, I believe that Oscar Rivas will defeat Ryan Rosicki by knockout to get a 28th victory, 20th by knockout, and to become the new and first ever WBC Bridgerweight World Champion. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.